Loyalty isn't some open-ended thing that just goes on forever. Because technically, some people just don't really make sense for your life and the new season, the mind and the space that you're in. I love you. I repeat, I love you. If no one has ever told you this, if no one told you this today, this week, this month, this year, or this very second, I want you to know I love you. And I also want you to know that the fact that you're still alive and still on this earth, even though it's been challenging and rough, and sometimes you get discouraged and uninspired to keep going, God has a plan. You will grow through what you go through. Everything that you're going through at some point, it makes no sense to you right now. But at some point, God is going to reveal to you why all of these issues, challenges, and problems continue to show up and what you were supposed to learn from it. You will grow through what you go through. I have a responsibility to peace. What does that mean? It means that I wake up in the morning, people are calling, texting, inviting me here, inviting me there. I have an opportunity, I have a choice, very important word, I have a choice to decide who and what and where I wanna go. What do I wanna experience in my day? Because you're inviting me doesn't mean I want to show up. Because you're calling me doesn't mean I'm going to call you back. Because you want me to be there doesn't mean that I want to be there. And because we're family, because we're friends, because we grew up together doesn't mean that I want to be a part of any and everything that you want me to be a part of. Why? Because my experience with you hasn't necessarily made me feel good about my life or my experience at the end of every night. Because you go to sleep at night doesn't mean you're resting. Because you close your eyes at night and you are asleep physically doesn't mean that you're actually resting. And the reason that you don't rest is because while you're awake, everything and everybody that's in and around your life is so full of issues, problems, insecurities, dysfunction, negativity, your mind is, and your spirit is in turmoil. There's issues and problems, arguments, yelling, screaming, dysfunction. Ah, ah. All of this shit is going on all day, every day. So when you go to sleep at night, you're not resting. A lot of people would say, I love myself. Do you really love yourself? Are the things that you're doing, the people that you're hanging out with, and the places and the circles that you're traveling in, does that reflect a person that actually loves themselves? If you love yourself, why would you fuck with those type of people? You know what they're saying about you behind your back. You know they're jealous and envious of who you are and the things that you got going on in your life and your career. You know that they don't like you. And they've made it clear. They've sent you every sign imaginable that they could possibly send you. And because you're so desperate to have people around you and in your life, you continue to go back. You continue to show up to everything they invite you to, knowing what they're saying about you. I'm not preaching separatism. I don't want a bunch of people to just be alone at home doing nothing with no friends, no family, and nothing to do. I'm saying that at this point, you are old enough and mature enough to understand the difference in good people and bad people. And when you're hanging out with negative, dark, and dysfunctional people, you cannot expect yourself to go to sleep at night and rest. You cannot expect yourself to feel good about your day when you're including negative and dysfunctional people in your day. So what you grew up with them? So what their childhood friends? So what their family? We have a responsibility to walk in the direction of peace. 
I want to laugh. I want to smile. I want to enjoy myself. I actually want to feel good about the people that are around me. You have that as a choice. You actually do. You don't wake up in the morning and negativity, dysfunction, problems, and issues just randomly pop up. These are the people that you have decided to include in your life. So the outcome of your day, your hour, your minute, your week, your month, and your year is always draining, always dysfunctional, and always fucking crazy because these are the type of people you've decided to include in your day-to-day -day life. I'm talking to somebody. Loyalty isn't some open-ended thing that just goes on forever because technically some people just don't really make sense for your life and the new season, the mind and the space that you're in. Think about this. This is, this is, the, this is a reminder that loyalty has an expiration date. You ever been in a relationship with some folks three years ago and then you run into them and you're like, man, what the fuck was I thinking dating her or dating him? And you almost want to beat yourself up for even the fact that you were in love or had all of these ridiculous feelings for this person. That shows you right there that that loyalty has an expiration date. You could never see yourself not being with that person. But at a certain point, all of the signs and wonders revealed itself that that relationship is over. So if you had drugged that person, those people, those friends, those family members, those situations into the new season of your life, your life wouldn't be going as well as it's going right now. I want you to stop playing the victim. You are not the victim. You decided that those are your friends. You decided that those are the people that you want to spend time with. You decided this is what you wanted to do with your day. When you get invited to places, doesn't mean you have to show up, especially if you know what your experience is going to be like with these people. No one wants to be alone. But why spend the rest of your life being miserable, frustrated, and insecure? And not really feeling as good as you have a responsibility to feel. Feeling good isn't just an opportunity. Feeling good is a responsibility that we all have for ourselves.